Jamie here, hope you are okay. I've been having a few problems with my Fitbit, receiving notifications, like I'll be getting text messages through and it was not notifying me. So this is what I did and it helped me, so it's not gonna definitely work for you, but it's better than nothing. So let's try it anyway. So first we're gonna go to the Fitbit app and then we're gonna click the Fitbit icon at the top with the battery percentage, so I'm gonna click on that. Right, make sure you've got all day sync on. So we've got to make sure that's on. Then we need to go further down till we see the always connected. Again, make sure that's always on. Turn always, always connected, press continue. And then we have the keep alive widget and that is at the top here, as you can see. If I take it off, it will disappear. But when we put it back on, and that did really help with my notifications. I, I get them through now without any problem. Um, the only downside is that this is probably going to drain your battery. I don't know by how much, because my battery life on my phone isn't good anyway, but it could result in, um, you know, your battery life going a lot quicker. Now, if that didn't work, then there is something else we can try. Click on the icon at the top again. And then we're gonna, well, before we delete this, uh, you may wanna click on sync now to make sure it, <clears throat> to make sure all your information syncs over. So I've just pressed it and it says it synced a moment ago, so it's done. We'll go to settings. We're gonna go to Bluetooth. And as we can see there, the charge too. So we're gonna click on the cog and we're gonna click on forget. So we'll go back to Fitbit. So what I'm going to press now is the trash can at the top. Remove this charge too from your account. All unsynced data will be lost. But that's why you've just pressed sync now so that all your data will be fine. So click unpair. So what you're going to do is press the text box at the top, the green one. Or is it blue? I don't know. Press it anyway. And then we're going to click on set up device. Again, uh, select which one uh, you you have. Mine is a charge too, so I'm gonna press that. And just follow the instructions and in case they say to you accept our terms and policies. Well, I guess I do fit it. I guess I do. Meet your charger, power on, so you're gonna hold the button down. I'm sure all of you know how to do this anyway, but I'll show you anyway. I'll show you anyway. It's not, see, we found your tracker. So just give that a second. Okay, it's giving me the code, which will be different on, it'll come up on your Fitbit. It's gonna be different to this. Just type whatever it says on your Fitbit. Now for the fun, walk through the basics. I know the basics, I know the basics. Blah, 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 blah. Set alarms, yep, yeah, you can do all that, fabulous. Man, they like to show it off, don't they? There we go, so we can go back out of it. As we see there, it says devices. It's charge to, yeah, and I'm on low battery as well. That's not good. Anyway, before the battery dies, I'm gonna quickly go back onto the Fitbit icon, uh, make sure that it's got all day sync and again it's got the always connected and keep me alive hopefully 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 this does actually work for you but I'm very very sorry if it doesn't but you know it's worth a shot and that's as much as I can give you I'm afraid so have a wonderful day I hope this helps you and I'll see you in the next video bye oh so one more thing quickly when you hold down the um, the button you have to make sure that it's notifications are on otherwise you won't receive your notifications after all that so maybe that's another thing that you could try if it's not working okay thank you very much